Hey guys, this is, uh, this is the Cooking Company. Um, today I'm showing you how to customize the sea gear. And first, I wanted to start off with a little bit of what the sea gear is. It's obviously to me, I think it stands for the communications gear because your three main functions here are the online, the IR, and the wireless. The online doesn't really do anything right now. It's your game sync. Um, in three weeks or so, the in spring. The website will be up. You can sign up on the website and you can track all sorts of trainer rankings and do battles and Dream World will open up. Over here you have wireless. The entry link, um, if you have any friends to play with that you guys live near each other, you go to entry link, it teleports you to the center of the Unova region. You go across the bridge and you talk to your friends. And here you can see if any of your friends are in the union room. If any of this is detected, it'll tell you. And the X transceiver is if you guys have a DSi or DSi XL, or if you even buy the new 3DS, you can. Um, it'll search for your friends, and you could talk to each other with the video, so you can look at each other and talk to each other on there. Obviously, I don't have that. IR is for people, again, who are in your near vicinity. You can trade, battle. Um, exchange friend codes with those people who are near you right now and you can even do feeling check if you get a good match with your feelings then you get some candy that heals your Pokemon and stuff um, okay so obviously this is your bars you know how well your internet's working right now wireless over here you have your surveys in Castalia City there's the surveys eight HQ, I forget what it's called, but you'll see it. And you can become a statistician. You can look, select surveys or check survey results. You don't really need to do this in order to turn in your surveys, but it's just there if you want to check it. Over here you have um, a lot of little bars that will light up. Each bar will represent one person. So right now I have one bar, it's red. That's Boom, my friend. You can click on her and see where she is in the world right now. So she's over here. That's how many passes by and all that stuff. You can see where she is in her game right now. You could thank her. You thanked Bob. Boom. And you could just send a message. Just a quick message. Okay, and the rest of it is just the customization. Here, you can turn the whole thing off right here by pressing the on-off button. And over here, there's, you know, your help options. You want to know about infrared or whatever. And over here is customization. Third button. See? When you click it, it just starts blinking. That lets you know that it's on. Which means if you click here, instead of selecting selecting that option, it'll just change the color. It always goes in order like that. So you, you can pretty much customize the screen however you want. And you can mix it up, you can make patterns, you can do whatever you want. And to change the color, the size actually of... Oh wait, what's it called? To change the uh, shape of the icon... You just tap up here where it says C gear and it'll change shape. Yeah, the uh, ninja throwing stars, little bows, hearts, hexagonals, and bunnies. Although some people told me this is a Pikachu head. If you want to think it's a Pikachu head, fine. But to me, it's going to be a bunny. That's a bunny. Okay, so you can basically do whatever design you want. These, uh, the, you can tell where it says wireless, online, and IR. You can change that around. Whatever color, the last one of that color that you press, that's going to have the title. So if you want to make the whole screen red, like this, then you can do the whole thing red except for the last two blocks. And the last block that you click will have the name on it. For example, this is will be... The last block I click of red, so the name came over here. Same for the blue. If I want to make this yellow, 
the yellow popped over here. If I change it to blue, the blue moved over here. Whatever color you pick glass, it's going to move over there. So that's how you can customize this. And you always need to have at least one of each color. And you can turn it off completely. Or you could just have an outline. And when you're done customizing, all you gotta do is click on the symbol again, the little, kind of looks like a very tall X button. Just click that and it's done. And when you click that button, it'll go through. So, what design do you think is the best design?